Hello, now let's um, discuss a little bit about uh, code coverage and let's look at it from the, the white box perspective. So let's uh, see how do I um, define my test cases, how can I define my test cases, uh, thinking in terms of um, the, the structure of the code. And basically we'll find a lot of different uh, strategy to do that. Okay, If you go to Wikipedia, for instance, we'll see that you have a function coverage. Each function of the program has been called statement co coverage. Each statement in the program has been executed. Edge coverage. Ed every edge has uh, been executed. Branch coverage. Each, uh, as each branch and each control structure, so in the sense that uh, has been executed. So and condition cover. So there are a different uh, approaches that I will detail a little bit, uh, some of them. And um, the point here, I think that the, what is more relevant is that you know that by looking at these, you are not, you are trying to infer which are the test cases from the structure. So some of these may not be, have no, no specific semantics, but there's a way to detect uh, bugs. Why? Because actually uh, if this instruction is executed at least you can see that the behavior of the problem doesn't change when it is executed although maybe it's a pass that uh, has no sense or it's a, co a combination of pass that is not going to be never executed because it's not related with the particular functionality from the end user. These techniques that look at code coverage, looking at uh, the structure of the code are used a lot by automated tools that generate tests. So they look at the code and they propose tests to be executed. The problem with this again is that they generate a large amount of tests that takes a lot of time to, to execute. Okay, so we'll see, as we'll see, you need to have some trade-off and I will talk a little bit better or more about this trade-off later. But now let's focus a little bit about what is the uh, uh, coverage looking at the, um, at the structure of the code. So to detail a little bit more a few cases uh, uh, where you do white box coverage and you do your code aware, basically think about statement coverage. So you look, you have your code, each command is a node, each Control, uh, execution control between two commands is an edge. And basically you, you, you try to define or each statement a command. So if you have co statement coverage, you want that your test cases achieve the following result. All commands are executed at least once. So when you stop testing, when you have this statement coverage, when all the statements where all the commands were be executed. So you don't need to test more, okay? But this actually doesn't um, solve all the, the, the situations because you can have cases where you have branches. And so you execute a condition in the branch, but actually you only execute it for the true value, for instance. But what happens if is the false value? So in branch coverage, you require that every condition is evaluated to true and to false, okay? And you can be even more demanding in the sense that you can have condition coverage. So if the condition is a combination of conditions, you check for each possible combination of values for each element. So if you have A and B, you test for A false, B false, okay, so you, com you, you, com you test for all the combinations. You, and you can go even further and you try to identify what is pass coverage and you define every independent path executed. So an independent program pass is one that tra traverses at least one edge in the flow graph, okay? But you're gonna study about these, uh, the difference between these, okay? But, um, and you can see this here, so you have this here, okay, for where you describe press testing, and you can exercise how many 
test cases you require to have here. But the point is that very easy you get with a lot of test cases. So you need to have strategies to, to decide when to stop. Okay? And we'll talk about that. So, but we'll see as, as well that at least there are some tools that I, I, I'm going to demonstrate that helps you to know which parts were not exercised. And may, then you may look at it and say, well, it's not relevant. They are not relevant. Okay? So, doing code cover, coverage based on the being aware of code, if you can be very demanding on the number of test cases, but is at, uh, on the other end, uh, can be used as a way to, to, to be aware of which parts were tested, which parts were not tested, and whether it, uh, it was relevant to test them. Because as I will, I will tell you, the problem with testing is that testing does not demonstrate there are no bugs in the code. That testing basically is a way to give you some level of confidence about what is gonna, uh, of the quality of the code. So, the problem is always, have I tested enough? Okay. So, okay. Thank you.